Hey everybody, Dino here and welcome to my world, the world of technology. Today I'm going to show you how you can change desktop environments in Linux. Uh, for example, you've probably heard of KDE or uh, XFCE or GNOME or GNOME, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and uh, these are all desktop environments that you can actually change out to uh, change the look and feel of your um, visual desktop environment. And so uh, you may want to experiment with these. A lot of people experiment with them by just installing dis different distributions of Linux that are using different desktops. Uh, but that takes a little while to do. It'd be a little quicker if you could just kind of switch between desktops. And also you can kind of customize your own distributions doing that. Uh, I have some caveats though. First, before you try this, don't try it on your actual machine or your production machine. Try it on a spare machine. Try it on a virtual machine. Uh, either of those are good choices whenever you're messing around with Linux. So you don't have to worry about, you know, losing data or anything. And of course, always back your data up. That's a very important thing. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to show you this. We're, we're doing this in MX Linux today, which is one of the most popular distributions currently. Uh, but it's very similar in uh, different distributions. So the first thing to look for is there's usually uh, some sort of thing to uh, some sort of icon to change what desktop you're actually running. Like a lot of times it's on some distributions, it's around this box. Some It could be anywhere around the screen that they, they put it. And they usually have some sort of um, desktop manager that kind of manages the distributions. The problem is, is some of those managers are better than others. It tends to be the, the simplest um, install of Linux, you probably have less trouble uh, or potential trouble with changing your uh, desktop environment, but it's just something to be cautious about. Uh, so like I said, try it on a VM first and, and then if if you want to, maybe try it on, on, on another machine that you use, but of course back your data up regardless because uh, Apparently, from what I understand, some th times some things can break bad, or it could just totally destroy your performance. Because if you're running more than one desktop, or you have one more than one desktop environment installed, they may conflict in some ways, or they may be running extra processes. All right, so in MX Linux, and and this is just the uh, the um, standard version of MX Lin Linux that's running XFCE, it's not the one that's running KDE, that's a separate uh, version of MX Linux. There's, there's a, uh, you'll see this uh, icon up here. And if we right click on the icon, it gives us some choices. There's our default, that's by default what it runs under. And we have a couple of other uh, options here. So the first thing you can do, which is, which should be safe, with some distribution should already have this icon up here and they may have a couple of different versions of desktops already in the distribution so you can actually change between them by using this uh, but you may want to do a particular distribution so you can actually load another um, desktop environment and try it out on your distribution uh, and uh, so that's another possibility. Now, some distributions, there might not be an icon initially, but when, after you install another package, the icon might appear. So there are a number of possibilities depending on the distribution you're using. The reason I picked MX Linux today is because it's one of the more popular distributions. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log into here with just the standard desktop that comes up. And uh, so if we go down here and we need to find the uh, MX package installer in MX, it's also under MX tools. So let's go under MX tools just to see where it is. And it's right here under N MX tools as well. All right. So I'm going to go in here uh, and uh, you need to log in using the root into the 
a package manager. Another cool thing about uh, MX Linux is it has a really cool package manager because it has like these different tabs. These are the most popular applications. And then it has different repositories and uh, type of, of package installers that you can search the databases and use, which is really very nice. Uh, we're just going to use the um, the uh, the popular applications on this one because it actually has a uh, category desktop environments and it has several environments listed here. So we can install any of these envi environments and, and try it out and it should add to the list uh, that I showed you before you log in. So let's let's install GNOME in here. All right, so it's installed, and if I look back in desktop environments, it's it's grayed out, indicating that it's already installed. So you can actually remove it, uh, but by checking this box and going uninstall, but it's installed now. So the thing we need to do is we need to log out and log back in, and we should be able to change the desktop environment. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to log out. And we've logged out, and if I go back up here to this, you'll see that not only is there a GNOME desktop, there are a few different versions of it. Uh, so uh, it gives us some choices. So we're going to go with GNOME Classic. And now that we've selected that, we just need to log back in. And once we log back in, we've got the GNOME desktop. And if we go up here to applications, it will show us the various applications that are already installed on the machine and such. So one thing to do is to just try to run some programs in it just to see how it's running. And just to run it a while to see if, if, if it's working out for you. And really, you may just want to test this on a machine. And you may decide to get a distribution a different distribution of uh, Linux that's running it, a particular desktop that's already installed for you depending on your needs or you might want to really experiment with setting up different desktop uh, environments in Linux. So it looks like uh, it looks it looks like it's a GNOME is running okay on MX Linux here so now I can switch between XFCE and GNOME and I have a couple of different um, I have a couple of different uh, options for each of those when I uh, log in. Once again, make sure you do this on a virtual machine first and, and test it out on whatever distribution you're doing. But the process is basically the same on every distribution. You need to find where it will pick the uh, desktop uh, environment, and it's somewhere there'll be an icon before you log in. Like I said, on some distributions that icon might not appear until after you install another package or another uh, desktop environment package. So then you need to go in and find your package installer for your particular distribution and then find the desktop environment that you want to install the package for it and install it. Uh, uh, it may be a little more difficult on some distributions because some desktop um, environments might have multiple packages you need to install and uh, there may be multiple dependencies and depending on the distribution you might have to pick a couple of extra things or it might warn you and do it automatically. I'm Dino and this has been Dino's Tech World and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.